Hello everyone, welcome to the Market Outlook for the week. Gaurang Shah here from Jujut Financial Services. As I speak to all of you all this Monday morning at around about uh, 11.30, markets have continued to gain moment up uh, on the higher side. Uh, likewise, what we saw last week. Uh, to give you certain levels on the markets, uh, well, Sensex is up about 390 points. Levels are 62,935. Nifty is up about 105 points. 18,640 and on the Nifty Bank which has been an outperformer for quite some time 305 points up on the Nifty Bank or Bank Nifty levels are 44,245 to give you certain levels on the currency as well as uh, crude oil well rupee did see some strength compared to last week but this morning there is a little bit of weakness uh, levels are 82.50 rupees to a dollar and on the crude oil front well, again, last week we did see some correction come in, but this morning there has been a little bit of uptick as far as crude oil is concerned. Uh, level on the Brent, $77.06 to a barrel on the Brent and NYMEX is at about $72.70 to a barrel. Uh, expect uh, a little bit of weakness in the crude oil front as we go forward this week and uh, expect uh, the rupee to strengthen a little bit. Of course, a lot will depend upon what the Honorable Governor of RBI has to say on 8th of June, if I'm not mistaken, is the credit policy. And the general consensus is that uh, this will be the second time where it will be a status quo, a pause. Uh, but uh, more importantly, uh, the commentary or the verbatim from the Honorable Governor with respect to the economies across the globe as well as the domestic economy is something that we will be keenly uh, watching out for. On the GDP numbers, uh, it has been a pleasant surprise and expect uh, improvement as we go forward from here on. Uh, coming back to the markets and the outlook, well, no doubt uh, the momentum is good as far as the upside is concerned. But uh, as we mentioned last week, expect a little bit of consolidation on one or two days, a little bit of profit booking, which will again be very healthy for the markets. And uh, it will be a little bit of uh, wait for all of us before we glow towards the all-time high on the Sensex and Nifty and cross over that all-time high and make a new high as far as the markets are concerned. So we might have to wait for some time, but definitely the momentum is positive. On the earnings front, friends, uh, we've seen curtains down for the last uh, year financial uh, quarter ending fourth quarter. And uh, to sum up the Q4 earning last financial year, well, it has been a shade better and uh, despite of all odds, Indian corporates have managed to perform in line or better than expectation. And in some sectors, there has been a little bit of disappointment, but nothing very big in terms of uh, a dark spot. So expect the improvement uh, for in earnings front as far as the, this financial year is concerned. Uh, the worry or the concern that is there in the markets, at least from the immediate short to medium term, is the rally that we are seeing in the broader markets, that is mid cap and small cap. Now, undoubtedly, large part of retail investors' uh, allocation or investment is uh, focused or concentrated in broader markets, that is mid cap and small cap. And it is good to see uh, these two indices, that is small and mid cap, perform because it gives a perfect opportunity for some or most of the retail investors to relook at their portfolio where the allocation is largely uh, towards the small and mid cap universe and it gives them an opportunity to churn the portfolio in case if they have got stuck in certain lesser known names which have kind of uh, downward performance with respect to earnings and now with the momentum coming back they have started to perform so this is the perfect time for all the retail investors to revisit their portfolio and make some churns in with respect to the small and mid cap names which have otherwise not been performing. On the monsoon front, well friends, uh, the monsoon season is virtually as a, at our doorstep. And there are two thoughts over here, SkyMet expecting uh, below normal and the Met department expecting a good first half and the second half could be a little bit uh, lower in terms of the long term averages. But it is more prudent to look at the spread of monsoon. And just in case if the spread is good enough, then the concern with respect to food or agri related inflation inching up could be put to rest. This only time will tell as we uh, go towards the monsoon 
and we are into the season till that time i think it's very difficult to make any kind of assumption or take any calculation into consideration so this momentum is likely to continue friends but uh, expect a little bit of consolidation and as always uh, you know whenever the markets have gone up uh, to a certain extent our view or outlook has always been that it is always prudent to see some amount of consolidation some amount of profit, profit booking and given opportunity for new investors to come in and participate in the long term growth story as far as the indian equity markets are concerned corrections if any will be healthy like we mentioned and those are the opportunities wherein you should look at certain sound strong fundamental names with the long term investment approach we have two uh, names again from the broader markets first one is an fmcg company dabur india limited uh, this company has a diversified product profile largely towards the ayurveda and uh, our anticipation is that if the rain gods do not disappoint us then fmcg sector is something that will see a positive tailwind and a push towards uh, volume growth with the demand coming in from semi urban and rural india so the first investment idea is dabur india the second one is uh, from the healthcare or hospitals if you may so you remember we had spoken about uh, narayan rudalaya a couple of weeks back uh, this time around we have identified uh, fortis healthcare as an investment opportunity uh, and mind you friends uh, with the kind of awareness and concerns uh, surrounding in and around individuals health is concerned uh, we expect uh, this particular healthcare sector to contribute a little bit more compared to the pharma sector and it, with the, that kind of an approach keeping in mind the earnings visibility we believe uh, fortis healthcare could be one of those uh, possible strong investment ideas from a long term point of view uh, remember one thing friends as always these are fundamental long term investment ideas these are not for short term or medium term so you should definitely have a longish time horizon and the long term definition of investment time horizon is at least one one and a half year plus kind of a time horizon to have a meaningful return from your investments into these two names uh, again no need to go and put all your money at one time start nibbling into these two stocks uh, maybe allocate some small portion and as you get some correction and lower levels you should possibly look at those opportunities as adding into both these names uh, again slowly and steadily Thank you very much for your patience hearing friends I'll see you again next week till then take care bye bye and please do take care of yourself